Alright everybody, welcome back. This is probably the product I've been most excited about this year. Um, I love this golf, I enjoy playing, I enjoy watching. Um, I'm a, I subscribe to the Disc Golf Pro Tour. Um, I watch pretty much every tournament, even over the baseball games and stuff that are going on. Um, I started playing disc golf during COVID uh, and I started getting into cards because of Brody Smith and his wife, uh, Kelsey, that are that run uh, Dark Horse Sports Cards. Um, I've watched them open their relic boxes. I've watched them open the, uh, the signature box they just did and uh, I've just been itching to get these in. I ordered a relic box and 10 individual packs. So, um, here is all the stuff you can get and the odds. Rainbow Sand 1 in 12. Uh, there's one of ones, event champion cards, movement series. Uh, the gold variants are the most rare, it looks like. Signature series, 1 in 22. There's tons of stuff in here. Um, so, we're just going to get it going. There's probably players that I'm not familiar with in here. I am really not sure. Uh, I did not look up the checklist. I just want to open these packs because they are sick. Matty O, Corey Ellis, Chandler Kramer, Zach Arlenhouse. Looks like we've got our first chrome here. Let's see if we know who that is. Ooh, Jennifer Allen. She lives here in Arizona. That's pretty cool. Bevan Rathbun. We've got something else shiny here. Um, Sayonanda. Yep. Nice. Out of 75. That's small up in that corner there. Ella Hansen, Lisa Fakus, Juliana Corver, and Raven Klein. Alright. Let me grab a leave real quick for this numbered card. So far, based on what I've seen, I think disc golf cards are probably the cards that hold their value the best. Um, there, some of these cards, I mean, Brody had a set of the 101 cards that the BGPT, I, they probably just did it as a promotion because he's opening cards and stuff like that, which I think is fantastic. Uh, cool way to advertise and just get the word out, right? Um, they've got almost 10,000 followers, and I think I've got like six or something, you know what I mean? So, pretty cool. Um, that they did something like that. Looks like we've got one of the sand ones. Of Connor Rock, that's cool. Are these numbered? Yeah, these are numbered to 25. And then Jeremy Colling, big germ. Those are sick. These are some of the cleanest cards. I mean, this is pretty freaking sweet. Luke Sampson. There's one of the champions cards. Emerson Keith and Paige Pierce. What do you guys think of Paige Pierce this year, man? Uh, she's coming off of that injury. I think, you know, 
She's still got it. She just needs to get her groove back. Missy Gannon definitely top in her field. There's a base for Jennifer Allen. What did I s did I miss something here? No, I don't think so. I think we just got an extra card in that other one. Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna make two videos. I'm gonna open that relic box in a different video. Eagle McMahon, he needs to come back from his injury and just do great things, man. I'm a huge Eagle, Eagle fan. Missy Gannon, when she won the tour championship. That's cool. Drew Gibson lives in Arizona now. Zach Island House. That's just one of the, nope, that one's numbered too. Had a 75. Cool. And I mean, there's just so few cards printed, I think, that just, I mean, look at this. We have, we've opened three packs, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, three packs, and we've got three numbered cards. Just because of the sheer volume, you know. Now, some of the names, right, like this kid hasn't done anything yet. Connor Rock hasn't done anything yet. Sayananda is coming up in the female division, so probably not worth a whole lot, but that's all right. I mean, these for me are going to definitely just be like PC cards because they're just fun, man. Probably try and take some of the base cards when they... Uh, come play the Memorial Championship out here. Probably try to take some of the cards out and see who I can get signatures from. Not everybody goes because it's not a tour event anymore, but this guy's usually out there spectating. Just walking around in the crowd, so that's a possibility for sure. Ricky lives in Arizona now too. Joel Freeman, the crazy shirts. Brody Smith, there he is. We will send that off to him and ask him to sign it or something. We'll do it as a... If we get another one, maybe we'll do it as a giveaway. Austin Turner, this kid is good. He just needs to put together a good tournament. 15 to 25 on the sand. And I think he can do some good things, man. Probably gonna have to get up and get more top loaders. Great Lakes Open winners, Simon and Own. That's a cool one. Macy Villa Diaz, Evelina. She. F she finally got a win. She put together a, a good tournament finally. Got her putting under control. That was definitely her biggest downfall. Ezra Robinson. Ezra, he's come close. Second to AB twice already this year, man. He's gonna win. He's gonna win soon. Austin Hannum. Thomas Gilbert. There it is. 
Matteo's only pro tour win. I think he's been playing for like 20 years. It's crazy. Probably longer than that. Looks like this was pretty much a uh, base pack. We haven't seen that yet. Did I miss something? think so. Yeah, I don't think so. It's got an all base pack. I think those are more rare than hitting something. The goose, Sarah Gossage. Hell yes. Dude, these are sick. These are kind of, they remind me of downtowns. I can't believe I got a Ricky. This is so cool. Holy crap, man. Raptors for his, the raptor legs. That is so sick. Dude. I'm not to have him sign this one. Place Gunner up on the stage here. That's badass. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just pulled that dude. So sick. Oh, and then we get a Chris Clemens chrome right behind it. Number two, five of 75. Heck yeah. Cat Merch, Jessica Weiss. Anakin Christensen Steen. That's a heck of a mouthful. Oh, man. I was really hoping, after seeing the Anthony Barella one that Brody pulled, and then he pulled the same Ricky Wysocki one also. That's, oh, man. I wanted that Anthony Barella one. But it went for over two hundred dollars in their whatnot auction, and I just not gonna spend that much right now. I'm still having fun and wanting to open my own stuff, so find a Makala. He's fun to watch play. Taylor, Luke Humphreys, did I get, okay, I was about to say, did I get back-to-back -back packs, dude, that would be ridiculous, Sarah Hokum, oops, way off, way off screen there, guys, sorry, out of 75, Kristen Tatar. Some are calling her the best FPO player of all time already. One season I don't think makes her whole career, but she did do a lot of things that no female has ever done in the FPO field before, so definitely easily the best FPO player currently in the world. Just incredible to watch play. She basically just plays her game and tries not to make mistakes. And uh, she's pretty good at it. Again, and Burr, right up there with Anthony Barella, Ken Jones, Mason Ford. 
Silas Schultz. Ooh, that's cool. Cole Dolan. End of the season. DGPT awards. Most improved player card. That's pretty sweet. It's like thicker too. That's pretty sweet. I'll put that over there. Tristan Tanner. Ooh. Katie Tati. I think these are numbered to 75. Yep. 66. I'm out of top loaders down here, so I'll top load that afterwards. Holly Finley, Rebecca Cox, there's Paige Pierce. Multiple world championships. She was the best in the FPO field for a very long time, but she broke her leg or something, or ankle or something like that last year, and she just hasn't looked the same, but she'll get back to it, and she'll be right back at the top. Cole Rebellin, just fun to watch play. He has such good control over the disc when he's playing well. There's another Brody. Ooh, Gavin Babcock, nice. That's a good hit to 25. 16. Austin Turner. Jake Wolf. This guy is nuts to watch throw. A frisbee, if I'm not mistaken, he's the guy that I've seen just throw absolutely insane forehands, like the most understable drivers and stuff you can think of. funniest YouTube channels out there. Oh, what is this? A movement card? It's, uh, it's blurry. That's not the camera. But what is going on here? Oh, it's an Anthony Barella movement series. can't tell. I mean, I guess now that I know it's him, you can, but that's an interesting, uh, interesting insert there. I don't remember. Let's see if we can... So the movement series are 1 in 10. So, I mean, I got 10 packs, so theoretically, that's the one I should get out of all 10. Heidi Leine. To 75? Yep. Ooh. There's Nate Sexton. Those are way more fun to open than football cards to me. These are sick. All right, let's go back over it. To 75, the Movement Series, 1 in 10. To 25, Gavin Babcock, Katie Tati, to 75. Sarah Hookham to 75. Chris Clements to 75. Austin Turner to 25. Zach Arlinghouse to 75. Connor Rock to 25, and Sai Ananda to 75, and then the uh, 
Hero, what are these called? Hero series of Ricky Waisaki. And those are, Hero series are, one in 12, so not super rare, but there are signed variants of those as well. But all in all, one of the most fun rips I've ever done. We got two Brody Smith cards here, so um, we'll probably send them to to them to do to sign one to, to send back to me just to keep for the PC, and then uh, maybe we'll give one away as um, one of the first giveaways on the channel or something like that. But all in all, just freaking cool, man. Thank you guys for watching. Um, keep an eye out for the next one. We're going to open that relic box and see uh, what piece of game used disc we get. So, see you guys in the next one.